What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It has been a cool minute since we sat down and talked about horror haunt in the chair in studio. We've been so busy out doing podcasts, uh, and then we just debuted our short film before uh, 2022 ended. So very big thank you to all those who supported that and went to go see that. That means the world to me. That was my like first kind of debut short film and uh, we had a lot of fun making it. So I'm mean, very excited that it did well and you guys enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be working on a sequel really soon. So I'll give, keep you guys up to date to that. But today, today we're talking something that doesn't happen until start, starting August, September. And <laughs> I think it was a lot of, a lot of things that happened in between that a lot of people didn't really talk about this too much uh but we got a haunt update and we're gonna finally talk about halloween horror nights announcing the chucky maze on halloween of 2022 as well as not scary farm announcing their 50th anniversary dates their run dates for the season i'm very excited so let's break it down let's check out the trailer first for chucky and let's talk a little bit about it Wanna play? <laughs> Boom! Yeah, that's right. I'm back. And I'll see you suckers at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights next year. An all-new haunted house inspired by the hit USA sci-fi series Chucky is coming in 2023 to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando Resort and Universal Studios Hollywood. I can't wait to play. <laughs> And catch new episodes of Chucky Wednesdays at 9 on USA and Sci-Fi. So for, as far as I can tell, this is going to be Chucky from the TV show that's really popular right now, both on USA and Sci-Fi. Uh, I think it just wrapped up Season 2. I don't know if it's been greenlit for Season 3 yet. Um, but Universal capitalizing on this is uh, a really good marketing point, And I can honestly see Chucky being the kind of headliner for uh, next season. It's going to be on both coasts, both Orlando and Hollywood. So this is going to be fun to see what both coasts come up with and whatnot i guess this kind of gives me an excuse finally to watch the show that way i have an idea of what i'm walking into when when i go through that maze so i'm excited i know murdy has come out and said that this is going to be based around the sci-fi and usa show so i'm excited to see what they bring to life with chucky and, and to finally give him his own kind of standalone maze that's actually going to be built like if you guys don't remember back in like 2013 2012 chucky had a maze in the house of horrors which was pretty fun but to actually give him his own standalone walkthrough attraction that's built somewhere else in the park is going to be a lot of fun i can't wait to see what space they use for that maze and i can't wait to see what is inside that maze it should be a lot of uh, fun but only time will tell moving on to not scary farm not scary farm has announced its 50th anniversary dates and i am super excited to see uh what they pull off for the 50th anniversary so not scary farm announcing their dates for the for the 50th anniversary man it looks like they're trying to maybe extend a little bit longer september 14th 2023 is that is opening night of not scary farm for the 50th anniversary it will run through october 31st 2023 uh which i believe halloween this year is on a tuesday so that's going to be interesting to see how they do haunt on a tuesday but yeah i'm excited 50th anniversary coming it seems like all these haunts just kind of wanted to get people excited for next season um with horror nights dropping of course the chucky maze coming to halloween horror nights this this year and of course the the dates for not scary farms 50th anniversary we know that's going to be a fun one we're very much looking forward to that we're going to keep you guys very closely up to date as to what's going on with that and whatnot um, but yeah, I think overall to finish this though, I want to just talk a little bit about something I did recently that's haunt related that I, I really enjoyed. This is the second time me uh, doing it, first time this time around, but uh, the Stranger Things experience. I, I got to go check that out. 
um you can go see on our tiktok over right now that we have uh clips and and stuff that we could film the areas that we could film uh for you guys to enjoy but it was just a fun time i mean it really immersed you this time around i got to do it back in 2020 when the pandemic happened and it was a drive-through one in in this parking lot and whatnot so that was really cool to see uh how they they pulled it off during the pandemic now this time around it was actually walk through and very interactive um you were actually one of the test subjects and you were heavily involved in the storytelling of, of this experience um and, and for all those who don't want it spoiled, uh, there's going to be full spoilers right now, so click off if you guys are going to plan on going, but uh, there's going to be some full spoilers. So you kind of all start out in, in front of uh, Hawkins Laboratory. It's a really cool facade. Uh, you're waiting. It's inside a building, but it looks like it's all outside and stuff, and you're waiting, and you see this video uh, uh, telling you that you're going to be part of the sleep study at Hawkins Lab. Uh, the guy who is kind of like the introduction guy, he's a little shady. Uh, you go into, of course, the... Um, the first room which is like a presentation he's given the presentation explain everything of how everything works and how your group system works and whatnot uh, and then you get put into the first room which looks like kind of like the rainbow room uh, from the stranger things television show and you're put to the test as to use your abilities for different things um, and it's pretty it's pretty fun I mean it's you got to do like puzzles it's a lot of interactive stuff and they did really good with the special effects and whatnot uh, and then if you guys pay attention like when you go in the first room with the presentation there's like a, a uh, an actor that they bring in that he's gonna get like uh, he's gonna leave later on um, and that's when you go in the rainbow room towards the end he asks to leave and then he goes and they tase him and they kind of like try to scare you like oh if anyone else wants to try to leave then we uh, we'll do that to you too from there you go to your next room where you got to try to figure out to escape and that's when we finally catch up with the kids we saw the kids in the front in the first room presentation room they were hacking the systems and you saw them uh, kind of gave me some Terminator 2 3d vibes when they used to have it at Universal Studios so that was a lot of fun uh, and then from there we just we kind of we were going on our journey we were using our powers and whatnot and it was a lot of fun going to different rooms then it, the, I think the bitching part is the ending when you get teleported into the upside down you actually go through um, the portal to the upside down and then you end up in this like big ass LED room with this LED screen and there's like a live act uh, actress in there and stuff it was really really cool really immersive this time around and then to end it you're kind of like in Starcourt Mall and they have like the the iconic pizza joint from season four uh, scoops ahoy they have some bars they have some arcades a lot of merchandise on sale some photo ops and they have even people walking around interacting with you and stuff so it was a fun time we had a great time and uh, I can't wait to see if they were to do like one last season uh, when the final season come out for Stranger Things I can't wait to see what that's going to be like but props to you Stranger Things experience thank you for a great time uh, with me and my girlfriend we really enjoyed it uh, and yeah but if nothing else more I hope you guys had a amazing Christmas season I hope you guys had um, an amazing New Year's and 2023 is going to be huge for Nights of Horror we just dropped our new logo we got some new merch coming out pretty soon uh, and we got a lot of things planned for 2023 so stay tuned uh, if you guys are brand new to the channel hit that subscribe button at that bell notification for every time we put up a new video if you guys want to go a step further follow us on social media at Nights of Horror on Twitter and at the Nights of Horror on TikTok and Instagram and if you want to check out uh, kind of our non-horror things um, we have Twitch, Knights of Horror Gaming on Twitch. Go check us out. We, we, we've been playing some horror games, but we play a lot of Call of Duty and stuff with some scare actors and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Check that out. Links will be in the description. And um, the announcement I can make here now is uh, I'm going to be joining the On the Fence movie review uh, crew. Uh, I'm super stoked that uh, they are allowing me to come aboard the team and, and geek out about films like they do. I'll be focusing more on horror movies and stuff on the channel, so we got some we got some videos cooking up coming soon. So you'll see a lot of horror movie reviews from me. Um, you'll see like trailer reactions from me and and whatnot, and and we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll do some collabs. We'll get some of the guys on there, and then we'll do some stuff. It'll be a lot of fun. But I'm super grateful, super honored to be joining the team, and I cannot wait. So go check out on the fence movie reviews. Links in the description below. You'll be seeing the you'll be seeing me there a few times this year. You'll be seeing Rob there a lot, and 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 the other boys too. Um, it's going to be great. We're going to have a lot of fun, and uh, I'm super excited. So I'll see you guys in the next video.